It started as a video entirely about text presets, but it quickly changed because I was experimenting with something extremely cool that I found that made my text presets so much better. And somehow it ended up here where I am on the edit page of Resolve. I have some footage on my timeline and in my effects library, I have a magic mask effect. Now, as you might know, magic mask is this amazingly powerful effect um, that's been in Resolve for a little while now. It does require the studio version, uh, but it is normally restricted to use on the color and fusion pages, but it's here on the edit page now. And if I drag that to my clip, nothing changes. But if I hop over to effects, I see all the normal magic mask controls uh, for when you use it in fusion. And if I come to this drop down and uh, open my fusion overlay, then I can draw on this shape just like I would in fusion. You can see, okay, it's already doing some great stuff. I can increase that a little to get the shoe. Uh, I can change this over to better if I would like to. Um, you might see a small change, especially around his hair and some other areas. And then I can just click this button to track. It won't display in the viewer, but you can see this little process frames bar as it goes through. And then when that is done, we'll give it a second. I can just come to uh, the beginning of that on my timeline and wow, it's it's uh, magic mask completely on the edit page. And it's wild because this is possible because of uh, one word. <laughs> I'm going to walk through the process that makes this and a lot uh, more things possible, including uh, the text presets I'm about to talk about. But hey, if you have DaVinci Resolve Studio uh, and you just want uh, magic mask, on the edit page, there will be a download link in the description that I'll send you over to my store where this will be hosted um, just as a free download. It's it's the same effect. I just moved it from one page to another. But if you want to know uh, all the secrets behind this real power, stick around. Now, you might know that when you package up an effect out of Fusion for use on the edit page, you go through um, the macro system where you can select any parameter or control uh, for any of the nodes you are using in your effect in the Fusion page um, and give the end user of your effect access to those controls on the edit page. I have an old version of some of my text presets here. This is simple, just a uh, pop in. And you can see if I select that, I have just a few basic text controls. But I recently updated this pack because I noticed that the default text plus effect on the edit page, which I also have here, just the blank one, has access to all these extra options, especially these shading control options, which are very, very powerful. And these tabs here and all these extra options, those are the full suite of controls you have access to uh, for the text plus effect uh, in the Fusion page. So instead of trying to like rebuild these using all their components in the Fusion page, um, I figured out something pretty wild and it worked. So now the update to this text effect, I have this uh, new text effect here. Uh, and if I look at that on the edit page, it has all of those same controls, all the transform options, layout, all the shading elements here on the edit page. Now here is the big secret. The reason I can make a text plus effect with all this pre-built animation that still gives you all of these controls and the same reason why I can bring Magic Mask over to the edit page. Template. <laughs> you see, when you drag that basic text plus effect onto your timeline, if you open that up in the Fusion page, uh, it is just a node called template. And if you mouse over the node, uh, you will see that name again, but you also see what kind of node it is. It is just a plain single text plus node. So if we try to uh, recreate this from scratch, if I bring in a blank fusion composition, open that in the fusion page, I can pull up a uh, text plus node. I can have this be whatever I want. And if I uh, come in and, you know, just turn on some shading elements, um, I could even do uh, like I did in my presets. I could add a follower and lots of other things, add animation to this. Here's what I can do. First, I can just rename that node to template. Cool, okay. Then I can right click and go to settings, save as, save this somewhere reliable, somewhere you can come back to. And here it will default to the name template, but at this point you can change the name to whatever you want, like uh, text new. I will save that. And then to install this preset I've just made, I'm gonna open up my effects library, open up templates, edit titles. I will just click on that master one for now. I can navigate to where I save this. I have text new. And if I drag that in, uh, might think about it for a second. But then if I go, uh, I can, I'll search for that real quick. Text, uh, at the bottom, text new. I can go back to the edit page and in uh, my titles, I can uh, search for text new, not showing up. Uh, sometimes you need a quick restart of Resolve right here. But now that I've done that, 
Uh, inside titles, I will search for text. Uh, oh, new, there it is. And I can drag that right to my timeline. And all of those changes, if I had added animation, uh, those would all be here. And importantly for this example, all of those same controls from the Fusion page now accessible on the edit page. So you can expand on this. And I wasn't sure if this would work at first. That text plus node, uh, it's called template. And then it brings over all those text plus controls. But here's the wild thing. Any node in the Fusion page, if you just label it template, save it to your effects library to access on the edit page. If it is a single node, you can drag that to your timeline in the edit page. And if it's a generator or effect, it will stand alone or apply it directly on a clip. And it will automatically give you access to every control you have for that node in the Fusion page on the edit page. So that's what I did for Magic Mask. If I open this up in Fusion, it is just one node called template. And if I mouse over it, it is a magic mask node. Now in this example, I did have to do a little bit extra work. Um, when I did this at first and dropped it on a clip, it was connecting that media in uh, to this effect mask input, not the main input. I had to do a little extra work in the code to get uh, this one example running. There's lots um, of extra uh, stuff I wanna mess with to see if it, this will work. If a lot of you are interested in creating simple effects like this, and that might be something I circle back through, uh, leave a comment if you do want that, cause that is pretty, pretty, a little deeper stuff. But uh, I was shocked in the best way um, because it just works. Now Fusion is uh, more a toolbox than just like a giant pile of like simple drag and drop effects. So I don't think there are a ton of use cases for stuff like this, especially with how, you know, you generally need to structure things in a certain way, even for like basic masks. There aren't too many instances uh, when you could pull just a single node from Fusion, drop it right on a clip on the edit page and it will work great. Some other examples I might be messing around with um, are bringing over simple stuff like the color corrector node or the color curves node. I did super simple versions of those a while ago. So you could like color correct a little bit on the edit page, but hey, now they could be so much more powerful um, without me having to like pick and choose which options to give you control over. But this is just a discovery I made today. Um, so I'm sure I'll be exploring this more seeing what's out there. Uh, but for uh, an initial use case, I think one, text presets, super awesome, all that extra controls. Even if you only uh, make presets for your own use or to save you time, if you have a relatively in-depth animation you like, uh, this is a super easy way to save it um, and retain access to all those advanced customization options. Uh, but also, hey, if you like Magic Mask a lot and you just wanna save yourself a few clicks, it's here. <laughs> I know this is a little bit more in depth of video, uh, but I think it's pretty cool and it's pretty wild that, hey, if you just, if you just change the name of a node, it can do some pretty cool stuff. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.